Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Destiny Zerp Predictions. Guiding Light here, and as always, we are back every week with another episode of Destiny Zerp Predictions. So, this week in Destiny, the Sparrow Racing League and the Dawning just came to Destiny, and I'm really hoping that Zer this week actually brings us something good. He brought us some pretty awesome gear last week, and I'm just hoping to start off the Dawning that we get something great again this week as well. Now, if you guys were not aware, there are a few changes that were made to Zer this week with the Dawning's patch, and that he will no longer be selling ornaments at all, and unfortunately, you will have to buy those with Silver Dust from the new kiosk located in the tower just next to the Postmaster. So, other than that, that's pretty much the only updates for Zer. And he should be bringing us the normal amounts of gear and weapons as always. So let's jump right on into these predictions. We're going to start this week off with the Titan class. So for the first time ever in the Rise of Iron last week, the Titans finally received the Dune Marchers, which had not ever been sold yet ever since the launch of the Rise of Iron. So that was a pretty great week for you guys last week. Hopefully you did not miss that and were able to pick up those Dune Marchers. Now this time around, I don't think we're going to be getting anything as rare as Dune Marchers, but we're hopefully going to be getting something great. This time around, I think we're going to be getting the Helm of the Saint 14. Now this is actually a pretty decent helmet for Defender, and will blind anybody who enters your bubble. So this definitely can be used in PvP, although I never really see it being used. However, this week, as you're probably going to be grinding out a lot of the strikes for your book progress, so using this helmet and the bubble class will definitely help you guys in PvE this week. So hopefully he helps us out by selling this helmet this week and we can actually get into these strikes and knock them out pretty easily. Now this time around for the Hunter class, I think you guys are going to be getting the Radiant Dance Machines. Now these are a pretty rare piece of gear and they are one of the only leg pieces for the Hunter class that are actually exotic. So if you don't have them yet, I would pick them up just to collect them. However, the perks on them aren't that amazing. So all these exotic boots actually do is allow you to strafe a little bit faster while you're aiming down your sight. So if you're someone who uses a sniper a lot or just has, happens to be aimed down their sight a lot and likes to move back and forth while you're shooting, then these boots will definitely help you guys out. If you use them correctly and you get really good at strafing back and forth, you'll find it really hard to die when you're sniping. So these boots definitely are decent and can get you a lot of kills. However, I don't think it's really worth the exotic slot to not be able to wear another exotic just because of the boots. So they're definitely not my first choice, but they are still a pretty decent piece of exotic gear. So finally, we do have the Warlock class. And... The Warlocks right now are definitely the class that I'm looking at the most and looking forward to the most because there are still two pieces of gear from the Rise of Iron that have still not been sold for the Warlock class. Now the Dune Marchers were finally just sold for the first time last week so I think it's a pretty safe bet that we're going to be seeing one of these new Warlock exotics in Zer's inventory sometime in the next couple weeks, most likely before the dawning ends. Now I've said this before that the Astrocyte Verse, the new helmet, isn't really that great and I'm hoping that it receives a buff sometime in the future. So. Hopefully, Zer will give us the better of the two exotics and give us the Ophidian aspects this week. He just sold the Dune Marchers last week for the Titans, which speeds up overall movement. So I think it'd be pretty perfect if for the Warlocks this week, they give us the Ophidian aspects, which speeds up the weapon reload time and as well as just overall weapon handling. So hopefully this time around, he will sell those Ophidian aspects. And with that being said, guys, let's wrap things up with the weapon prediction. Now, last week, Zer kind of surprised me by selling the Red Death, which is one of the most rare weapons that Zer ever sells. So for him to sell it this close when he just sold it before was kind of strange. And I'm really hoping this week we get another great weapon because the Red Death is extremely rare. Hopefully, we will be seeing some more rare weapons and actually useful weapons come to Zer's shop in the next couple weeks as well. So for this week's weapon, I could see them trolling us and throwing the Thunderlord in the shop as they did just release two new versions of the Thunderlord this week with the Dawning DLC. Now hopefully they don't troll us and they sell something different, so for my actual prediction this week, I think they're going to give us the Zalo Supercell. Again, it is pretty good week for arc weapons as it is the buff in the strike playlist this week, so I can easily see them throwing in the Zalo Supercell, helping us wrap up a couple more of those strikes as there are a ton of things to do in the strike playlist with this new update as well as the book progress. And that pretty much wraps up this episode of Zer Predictions. Those are all of my predictions for this week, and as always guys, be sure to drop your predictions in the comments down below. And stay tuned for tonight's episode of Destiny Trials Legend, episode 24, dropping sometime tonight at about 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So definitely check back for that. That's going to be a pretty epic video for you guys. Other than that, hopefully you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.